guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be flipping through my 2021 catch-all planner. I know this is a little bit late, but it's never too late to look back uh, on last year's planner. And this is something that I really enjoy doing every year because I can see it's kind of like a scrapbook. Uh, it's kind of like memory keeping, just looking back at your planner and seeing what you had going on, what you accomplished. And uh, another thing I really like to to look at when I'm looking through my old planners is seeing how my handwriting has improved because I've been working really hard the past couple of years to improve my handwriting. So uh, I'm really excited to look back on it, actually. There's a few spreads that, you know, I remember pretty vividly, but there's a lot I'm sure I've forgotten about. 2021, um, thinking of January 2021, it feels like 10 years ago but also like yesterday. It's very strange. Anyway, so if you're interested in uh, checking out my 2021 planner with me, keep watching, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not, and let's jump into it. All right, y'all. So we are getting into my 2021 catch-all here. Wow, this is a Bujo spread. Before I started using the inserts that I'm currently using, which we will get to, I was just kind of drawing my own spreads and doing kind of a Bujo style uh, in my catch-all and I really I kind of miss doing this I might go back to it just for like certain weeks but frankly the reason I stopped is because I did not have time I just got too busy and I didn't have time to draw a layout in my planner every single week um, but the, oh god that was my first blackout spread ever so cute another really nice dot grid bujo spread i use passion planner stickers this i use the passion planner daily insert for the first time really like that oh one of my favorite layouts i've ever done absolutely love that the gold this was um yeah this is something i tried didn't didn't like it but i tried it and you know blank page this was my birthday week really love it Oh, and here she is. Lights, planner, action, inserts. This is when I finally discovered lights, planner, action. Uh, it was a printable. So I started off with the printables and uh, that's what those are. So yeah, very nice layout, very functional, very easy to decorate. That was the first layout I ever tried. And then I tried that one. This layout uh, is, I actually purchased it, the physical inserts, and that's where I discovered the magic of Lights Planner Action's paper. Um, and there's a printable and then another <laughs> insert. That's something I like to do is just kind of really change my layouts, just depending on my mood or my needs for that week. So, And when you see the random uh, jack-o'-lantern washi tape that is to cover up personal things, I went through and did that before flipping. So in case you're wondering, because it does not match with the spread, that is what I like to do. Oh, one of my favorite. Oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite spreads I ever did. Even though I didn't, I like barely use the left side on the bottom, but <laughs> it's so pretty. That was just testing out a pen. Oh my gosh. The purple, that purple washi, Bare Necessities from the Honeybee Shop and Bare Necessities Sticker Co. Oh, we got Mermaid and then some random MCR stickers I was testing. Here's my Black Lives Matter spread. Absolutely love this. Oh my gosh. This was kind of all over the place. Um, it was supposed to be like a pride spread and then it turned into like nature stickers. I don't know what I was doing. Sometimes you just got to write in your planner. That's it's true. Sometimes you don't have time to decorate. And you just got to write in the damn planner. Oh, very pretty. A mix of my own stickers and passion planner stickers. Oh, very, very pretty. We got some personality crisis 2.0. I see a couple stickers that I made. Very pretty. I see some magical plan studio in there. Um, this is where I realized that my, yeah, my pages were like all mixed up. <laughs> so I'll fix that here in a minute in case you're wondering. Yeah, you can see here, obviously these weeks do not go together. Um, and what I do is, you know, when I'm done with my layout for, um, I usually keep it in my current planner for 
about a month and then I'll take it out and put it on another set of discs and then that becomes kind of my planner for that year and that's just what I like to do I don't like to carry around the entire you know year with me in my planner it's just it's too much here we okay I'm figuring it out I just <laughs> had to figure out which week uh which ones went together so just you know fixing that up but yeah that's just the way I like to do it some people like to keep everything in there to refer back to it uh just for me I because I have a disbound planner or if you have a ring bound planner anything where you can take the pages out um I really like to just, when the month is over, I want to be done with it, and I put it, I don't get rid of it, I just put it on a separate set of discs, and put it on the shelf, and then I continue to do that throughout the year, and then at the end of the year, I have this. Absolutely love this layout. Oh, this is where things started getting really good. I was really getting into the blackout layouts from Lights Planner Action. Still, my favorite, that paper is magical, and oh man, that gold pen the gold pen with the gold accents and the stickers is really nice. That is one of my favorite layouts I've ever done. Simply Gilded Washi, Honeybee Shop stickers. So you can see there on the left, and you'll see that in a lot of these spreads that, and you'll see here, I'm. it rubs off. I, I know it's magical. So when you use a pen on this blackout paper that is really more of a bold pen and more ink comes out when the planner kind of sits there closed for a while some of the ink will transfer to another page but it's very hard to explain but it's you can just rub it off you can use an eraser or you can just use your finger it rubs right off um, and that's just a consequence of using a really bold pen but to me it's worth it because I think it looks really nice so uh, yeah it just rubs right off so it, it's truly amazing this paper I don't know where best found this stuff um, those stickers were from Daisy Doodle Shop, by the way. They're those gorgeous pastel stickers. Definitely check that out. I'll put that in the description. Support my girl Daisy's shop. These stickers are from my shop if you want to uh, get them. And so are these. The little owl and the ghost and the pumpkin. And then I could glue the pages together. I just didn't do it. This was uh, Thanksgiving spread. Very cute. This was a spread that I made. Super cute. Didn't use it. Didn't even write a word in it. You know, it happens. Just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. <laughs> and then we get to uh, our first spread for December. Very, very cute. Again, stickers from my shop. Uh, these stickers from Dulce Planner. And then the Agresco stickers and friend Felicia got me from a Etsy shop. I will share, again, um, as many of these as I can remember in the description. And if you have any questions about where any of these stickers are from, just leave me a comment below and I will definitely uh, answer you. So, yeah. And then we are getting into kind of the monthlies that I, I don't really use monthlies in my catch-all. But I just like to, I don't know. I try to and then I, it just doesn't work. Maybe I'll be better about it this year. I just did a sticker bomb here, you know. And yeah, that is the planner. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed looking through my 2021 catch-all planner with me. I had so much fun looking through it. And it's really fun to kind of see, you know, how your handwriting has improved and, and look back and be like, oh, I remember that. And it's kind of like a scrapbook, really. And it's funny because when I first started kind of decorative planning, I didn't know what to do with my planner when the year was up. I was like, oh, I'll just throw it out. And I, I threw I threw it out. Isn't that terrible? Um, I kept some of it, but I threw most of it out. And uh, I don't I do not do that anymore. When I'm done with a planner, I put it on the shelf. And it's, it's like a book to me. You know, just put it on the shelf and there it is. And it's fun to look back on. I have my agenda, like, you know, the agendas you would get in school in like elementary school, I have uh, one of those and I have one for middle school and I love looking back on it. It's so much fun. So um, yeah. Do you have a favorite spread from my 2021 flip through? Anything you thought was cool? Anything you thought was ugly? Whatever you think, <laughs> leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not. Links to all my stuff in the description box, my podcast, pictures and planners, my Etsy shop, 
all that stuff is in the description and follow me over on Instagram. That's where I'm most active. So, all right. Well, you guys stay safe. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.